Hello friends, welcome to my another video tutorial on WordPress and WooCommerce for intermediate and advanced users. In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss about how we can give an extra options to the users so they can customize easily. So they can customize WooCommerce easily. In my previous lecture in tutorial, I have shown you how we can use add filter to enhance the functionality of shop page by adding and removing number of rows in number of products in a row and number of products on the page as that was a static way like we have to add in functions.php file uh, static number 3 or 12 in this particular tu particular tutorial i'm going to discuss or i'm going to show you how we can add that functionality inside the woocommerce setting page so that any user who have purchased your theme or want to have that option in the WooCommerce setting can easily change settings. Let me show you the example first. In my WordPress dashboard in WooCommerce settings, if you go to product, you will not see this option customize WooCommerce by default in your WooCommerce. I have added this option by extending WooCommerce products setting page by using one filter from WooCommerce. I will show you which filter I have used and how did I use it and achieve this task. So basically if you haven't watched my previous tutorial in which I have shown that how we can use add filter to loop item shop items to display number of on to change number of products on the shop page and number of products per row if you haven't watched my if you have not watched that tutorial please do watch that tutorial to understand it how it works so what this function does it will do the same thing like but from the end user point of view like if i goes to this customize woocommerce option you will see woocommerce shop page setting the following options are used to configure shop page so products per row Currently it's set to 4 and products per page is set to 12. So when I go to shop page, I will see that there are 4 products in a row and total number of products are 12 shown in the page. If I change this number to 2 and make changes to save and then reload the page you will see the products shown on one row will become two number of two products will be shown on each row and the same goes for the other way around that if i add here like six so total number of products per page will be shown six four in a row and two in next row even i can make it four and four so on each page you will see four products and in a row there will be only four products and the number of pages will increase definitely because the total numbers are 32 and each page is showing four so four multiplied by eight is equal to 32 and so we do we do have eight pages so how did i do this let's get started let me open my editor and show you the code which i have pasted here this is the code now from where i get this code same thing i goes to uh, woocommerce docs or codex and in extending section i have gone to adding a section to a settings tab when i open it although this the functionality of this code is different from the what i have achieved i will show you how i make those changes so in the first section it asks you to add a section like if i in my editor if i remove this part this part uh, sorry uh, yeah this part if i remove this part and save the document and then go back to the woocommerce page and you will see it won't show that settings it won't show although it's going to 
uh, you is clickable and you can click here but it will show the default general settings the first settings of the WooCommerce setting so how I achieve this I have added a filter to WooCommerce get sections products it means WooCommerce this function in this filter is already applied to the sections so anyone else who is extending the WooCommerce can take advantage of this fil uh, this filter hook and can add their own section you can name it anything so I have added the function WP customize add section whereas if you look at here it's saying WC slider add section so this code it will add a slider options but I have changed it to make it work with showing those two options of changing product number currently I have disabled that code so it's not showing here so what this one will do it will as this parameter by default is one means it accept one parameter there must be a parameter in the add section or whatever section you are adding you can do this you can add it or you can but if it's a must have you have to add this section variable here so it will read all the settings page all these general display inventory download products will be shown here in this section and without removing I didn't remove or I didn't reset anything I just add an extra section to it with the name WC customizer shop so this WC customizer shop will be shown in the URL when you are accessing the settings page it's going to the products so WC settings means uh, this W WooCamera section settings and section you have to select sections so, so section is WC customizer and tab is products so we have added sections product and it will it has been added here you can name it anything like if it says customizer and this one is of course is a text domain I mean the currently what text domain for translation purpose you are using you can add it here anything so customize WooCamera or I can call it customize product or shop page customize shop page I can do it like this and then when I refresh the page you will see the customized shop pages now shown over in the <coughs> settings of products so later after returning the section and it updated automatically all the sections I have added another function this settings function so same filter has been used if you WooCommerce get settings product WooCommerce get settings products same filter has been used here and this time I passed it a different options WC customize all settings so as you can see I have put 10 here and then 2 so it means it must be given out it must this function must have two parameters so what are those two parameters one is setting the same settings which we have been using and the current section so this one will re result will return current section by looking at here and getting that section name and it will display the settings according to this customizer section if you see if you if you change it it will be changed here as well so this one if you change this name it will be changed as well here so this one is must have and unique it must be unique ID it is an ID of section so if current section is equal to WC customizer shop so if I change the section name here you put something else then you must change it here as well otherwise it's not gonna work so if current section is equal to customizer shop so add these sections so let me explain them step by step first of all I create an array an array which I want to add here in this section uh, I mean in customized shop not this one is by default and let me save it and show you and I will save it and then reload it and now you will see these two options 
so in array and you can add as many as settings you want here so wc setting customize this array and the first parameter is name this name will be displays in this and here you will put the text domain for this name type is here it says title you can type make it anything title is type because this one is full commerce shop page settings title this one if you look at here this one is book commerce shop page title settings and the type is you can make it title description the following options then this description is here you can easily change this setting from here and this id is necessary uh, every element must have a unique id so next is uh, this one is as for title and this one is that for a checkbox here i uh, because i have taken it from here so by default this one have you see checkbox option and it have type checkbox but i was using it for another purpose so i have changed to it to text field option add first text field option so the name same thing the name is shown here product name and then description tip this description tip is this question mark if you see it and hover over here you will see this so it will help the user to understand what should user type here and then its id unique id which we will use in our code to access it value its value css type text you can use text slack uh, checkbox radio button whatever whatever option you want to give to the user you can select here type in type css you can add any custom css if you want to like i have added mini with min with 300 pixel so by default if i inspect element for this particular box you will see it says style min with 300 pixels and type the number is description which will be displayed at the end of this one is you can make it anything type the number i have used type the number you can type anything description any description please type a number from one to ten or blah 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 whatever you can type and same duplicate of this one is this only the change is name description tool id type css description description is same css same type is same only the difference is id description and name so then i have used wc array type section and and id is wc slider you can oh, i forgot to change it from here you can change it anything you want and then i return this to customize return these settings to the settings of this page and if current section is not wc customizer shop then it will go to default settings so it means it won't show this it will default use the feature of woocommerce settings page so this one for this one only it will show no i have shown you this if you have if you got confused or if you did not understand anything do let me know in the comment section below and i will happy to answer your query okay now this part is done now whatever you type here will be saved in the options table uh, sorry option i'm saying options table is the options file options.php file and this is wc options table i think in the uh, db as well so <coughs> setting everything is same so now how to access it sure enough woocommerce show you that using your new set you would now just use your newly created settings like you would any other wordpress woocommerce setting though get through the get option function and the define id of the setting for example to use the previously created wc slide auto insert it shows here Let me show you this one id this id has been is talking about so in my code i have changed it so my ids are this and this id so how i'm going to use it i will be using it in my 
previous filters if you haven't followed my along with my previous tutorial do watch where i will show you how to change the number of products per row and display number of products in a on a page so this one will return three rows it as it was in the previous tutorial but now i have made it dynamically so row will get get option wc number of products per row which i used here this id i get it by option and if there is any id number of products there is any id then it will return that to row variable otherwise it will return default three you can make it default four so if there is nothing it will return four and you can further check it that if it's greater than this and if it's great like suppose you don't want one in one row more than four so you can check that if row is greater than four then make it four if it's less than one or less than one means if it's zero it must be by default four so these checks can be made here as well on the basis of this row variable you can check it and then accordingly you can return whatever you want same same thing goes for this one and if you see easily i have done it and it works perfectly fine and at the end result it shows me this that if you type here 3 and 12 it will show you three products in a row and it will show you 12 products on the page and if I refresh it and you see three products in a row and total 12 products on the page <coughs> so I hope you like my tutorials and understand it very well if you did like it please do subscribe to my channels for upcoming videos as I'm going to update daily I'm going to create daily one video for this WordPress and WooCommerce settings for intermediate and advanced users I will definitely sooner create beginners video for uh, sorry I will create videos for beginners as well so stay tuned and thank you very much for taking time to watch my tutorial and I'm sure you liked it and if you do please click the like button as well it will encourage me to be, uh, write more or to create more video tutorials for you <clears throat> and stay tuned for upcoming video tutorials which are getting more and more advanced advanced thank you once again have a good day bye